Good morning, class four. Ah, uh, today is the continuation of last time's numeration. This one, round off. Okay, last time we started round off of uh, nearest to nearest hundred. Okay, sorry, nearest tens. We did. Okay, uh, round off the following numbers to the nearest tens. And I had given you what? I had given you homework. Also, I had sent homework. And only uh, uh, I think. Two students only submitted the homework. Okay, now this is a continuation of that round off. So round off, I have told you in the beginning. If you have bought a book at suppose you have bought a book at ninety five rupees or ninety seven rupees, then uh, when your friend asks you at what price you have brought, uh, you have bought this book, then you will say somewhat like or almost hundred rupees. Okay, like that you will answer. No, somewhat or almost a uh, hundred rupees. That much amount I gave. You will say like that. That is actually what you are doing. You are rounding off the price. Okay, instead of actual price, you are saying approximate or closer, closer to that real actual number price. Okay, actual price. You are rounding off actually. The number. So, and I have told you how to uh, round off also round off the number. What you have to look at is at the question. If it is the question, round off to nearest hundred, nearest ten, nearest thousand, nearest ten thousand, nearest lakh, nearest million, whatever it is, that time you have to understand. You have to look at the place, like year hundred. That time it was tens. You have to look at tens place. If it is nearest hundred, you have to look at hundreds place. Okay. If it is thousands, you have to look at thousands place. If it is ten thousands, nearest ten thousand, then you have to look at ten thousand. The number in ten thousands place. That is that should be your aim. Okay. That number will change or not? You have to find out. Now it all depends on the next number. For after this, which number is there? That number is equal to five or less than five. It won't change. If it is more than five, it will change. Okay. So here the tens we did now hundred. Round of the following numbers to the nearest hundred. Now hundred you heard. That means the number in hundreds place. You have to look at this number. Okay, you are listening. You have to look at this number. Yeah. So this number is in hundreds place. And what is the number? It is two. Now two is going to change or not? It all depends on this number. This is going to change or not? This depends on this number. Okay, so if it is five equal to five, yes, it will change. If it is um, more than five, it will change to a, a one step bigger level. But if it is less than five, like four, three, two, one, zero, then this number won't change. Okay, it won't change. It will remain same. It will remain same. So now look at this question. This five is equal to five. That means this two is going to next higher level, one step higher. Okay, two, one step higher is three. So it is going to be three. So because it is equal to five, that's why it changed. If it was four, it won't change. It will remain same. Okay. So now these two will become zero zero. That means two hundred fifty-seven. You bought. An article, anything at two hundred fifty-seven, you will say that almost three hundred it cost you. Okay, like that. Now, next question. It looks like ten thousand six hundred fifty-two. Yeah, eighty-eight thousand nine hundred forty-three. But don't worry. You look at this question. Hundred means you have to look at hundreds place. Okay, which number is at hundreds place? That. Number should be your A. Okay. In this case, in this case, which is six 
stays in 100 stays. So 6 is going to change or not. Look, you are again 5 equal to 5. So that means this is going to change. The other numbers will remain same. This number will remain same. Only the numbers in 1 stays, it will be 0. Okay, so this becomes 10. You just have to copy other numbers and name the 6 is going to be 7 and this number is going to be 7. Okay, now next is again 88,000. So big number, don't worry. You just look at your number at 100 space. So number at 100 space this time. 9. Okay? 9 is going to change? No. So sad. Because it is 4. It is 4. Less than 5. So it won't change. It will remain same. So 8, 8, 9. 8, 8, 9. And this will become 0. Okay? Then, next number, D. Here. Again, which number is in 100 space? You have to see that. 9 is in 100 space. It will change or not? Depends on this. It is more than 5. That means this is going to change. Now, here be careful. Why I am saying be careful? If it is 9, when you add 1, it will become 2 digit number, 10. So, what? Because of 2 digit number, if there are other numbers in this side, that is also going to change. Okay? So, yeah, 9, uh, next thing will be 10. It will be 10 because this is 8, more than 5. So this number at 100 space will change. 9 will become 10. This will become 10. But this one is going to be carried this side. In 1000 space. Okay? And here it will be 0. So here it will be 0, 10, 0 and 1 will go and get added here. So, 1 plus 0 will be 1. So, the number will be 6, 7. 6, 7. Now, in 0 space, it will be 1. And in 9 space, it will be 0. And uh, this will be 0, 0. Okay? Remember this. Because this type of question I had given yesterday. Day before yesterday, I had given as homework. And some uh, student had left... That question uh, didn't answer only because they didn't know what, what to do if it is 9. So here I am telling you, if it is 9 and if it is goes to higher, one step higher level, then it will become 10, 10, 0 here and 1 will get added. The number which is in this place, 1 will get added with this number. In this case, it is 0. So 1 plus 0 will be 1 and 67 remains. Okay? Now, this is about nearest hundred. Now, nearest thousand. Now, nearest thousand, same method, same thing, only you have to look at the number which is at thousand space now. Thousand. Which number is in thousand space? There you have to look at. Now, nearest thousand. This is at thousand space. One stays hundred thousand. This is going to change or not? This won't change because the next number in the number in 100 spaces, 0, less than 5. So this 7 becomes 7 only. It won't change. So 7 and the other numbers will be 0, 0, 0. 7,000. Okay. So suppose you wrote um, what? You bought at 7,065. Okay. And you said that you... 65, you didn't say, you said that someone like 7,000, I bought that article at 7,000 like that. Because it didn't change, you didn't say 8,000, right? Because the next number in 100 space was 0 or less than 5, okay? Now like that, here, question number B, again you have to see at 1,000, there is 10,000 also. But the question is in thousands. So one seems 100,000. This one we have to look at. One. Okay. So this will change. Yes. Because the number at 100 space is more than 5. So it will change. So it will be 2. And 1 will become 2. And this 3 will become 0, 0, 0. 
Okay, so it became instead of 21,658, it became 22,000. And here also, which number is in thousand space? Nine. Now, nine, nine. It will change? Yes, this is more than five. So this will change, but be careful. That time only I said, nine will become ten. So one will go get carried to next scale number. Okay, so here. 9, it will become 10 and this one goes here and gets added with 4, okay? And 0 remains here in this place. So 1 plus 4 will be 5 and this will be 0, okay? 49 became 50 and other numbers will be 0, 0, 0, 50, okay? Like that, here, thousand space. Which number is in thousand space? 9. This one stays under thousand nine. Now nine will change, yes, of course, because the next number is in uh, is what more than five. So if it is more than five, one it will become ten. So tens and one will get added with this. Okay, this also becomes ten, isn't it? This will also become ten. Then this one will go and gets added with this one. So, what happened out here? The last digit also became two digits. So, this also became 10. So, in this case, this became 10. Okay, last digit became 10 and other numbers are 0. This became 0, this became 0. Okay, and this are also 0. Okay, 10 lakh. It became 10 lakh. So, uh, 999,650 became 10. Like that. We have to be careful here. If it is, okay, so this ends your round off. So, okay, till here you have to learn it. Now, I'll be sending what? Homeworks. Please do it. Try to do it and send it. And if it is wrong, Please do correction. And one more thing I have to tell you is, I have told you to write name and class in that page. I mean page, not in that, uh, what do you call that? Not in that video. Don't do it. Not in that, uh, below that homework you write your name and class. No, not like that. You have to write, you are taking photo of the copy, no? There only in that page, in every page you have to write your name because it will be easier for me to find out whose uh, work and I be it will be easier for me to send it to you also otherwise others work will be sent to you okay so in your paper because you take photo photograph of that page isn't it there in each page in every page you write your name and class Okay, thank you.